Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I just got my boxy charm and I thought I would share it with you guys. So let's jump straight into the box. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free. So please click that subscribe button and go ahead and click the notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a video. And while you're at it, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I post all the time. So I will leave my IG name right here so you can follow me. All right, so now that that's been said, let's find out what's in this month's box. So for this month's box, the theme is sunshine. The first item in the box is by Clear Skin Club and it is the Vitamin C Brightening Booster. It says it's a powerful mix of pineapple, watermelon, and green tea extracts. And it's supposed to brighten the complexion for glowing skin. It protects against UV damage and helps reduce eventual signs of aging. Those all sound great to me. And this retails for $49.95. That's pretty crazy. Oh wow, I really like the bottle. That is actually really pretty. Kind of feels like water almost. It doesn't have a strong scent, which is good. I don't really like strong scents. I have yet to use this, obviously, because I just got the box, but I will keep you guys updated either on the description box below or on my Instagram, so make sure you're following me there. For the next item, we actually got a little duo, and it is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm not sure how you pronounce pronounce Hua. Hua? 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 I'm not sure. I'm so sorry if I, well, I definitely mispronounced it, but I'm, I'm sorry. I think it may be the same scent as the bum bum cream. Oh my gosh, it does smell like the bum bum cream. I love the scent of that cream. And now I have it in shampoo and conditioner form. That's so exciting. So this retails for $24 and it says it's sulfate free, which is awesome. It's supposed to strengthen and smooth, which are both things that I need for my perpetual bad hair days. So hopefully this will help. And of course, again, I will update you guys on this. And by the way, I just have to comment on the packaging. Is this not the cutest little packaging ever? Oh my gosh, I love the roundness of it. It's so cute. So next we have this Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow and it retails for $29. The shade that I got is in Burnish and it is this absolutely gorgeous shade right here. It's on my lids as well and my lips. I and mean, what can I say? It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's so metallic and reflective and there's also tiny little glitters that you can see throughout that just catches the light just enough you know, and it's just oh, it's so foiled and metallic. And I just love the look that I created with this. My whole look kind of looks very fall-ish, you know? If you're interested in a fall look in the middle of summer, then here you go. It was very easy to work with, very, very metallic. Um, you can see in the clips, like I was amazed. I love this eyeshadow. It actually reminds me of the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows from the drugstore. These are by far the best drugstore eyeshadows. If you can get your hands on these, I, I feel like these would be the closest dupe that I can think of from the drugstore, but I really do love this eyeshadow. This is, this was amazing. I will definitely be wearing this for Thanksgiving. I can just already see the look that I'm going to create, probably a lot like this. <laughs> but it's so pretty. And then I added just a little touch on the center of my lips, just for a little bit of dimension and uh, so pretty. And if you're wondering what's on my lips, I have the Oprah Cosmetics Americano Liquid Lipstick. And then just on the center, I applied this and that is the lip combo. This is pretty pricey for a single eyeshadow. So that is why I suggested the dupes, the drugstore dupes, but I mean, I'm pretty blown away. This is so gorgeous. I love the finish of it. It just, it looks so a wet almost, like a wet, juicy metallic. I love those kind of shades. So I'm truly blown away. I love this product. Next, we have the Ace Beauty Bronzed in Paradise palette and it retails for $30. Even this packaging. This packaging looks so fall. I don't know, I've just been in the fall mood lately, so I'm like totally loving this box. It comes with a mirror, 
and you get four beautiful shades. And I actually used all four of these shades. For my face, I mainly used these first two shades and then I kind of mixed in just a little bit of this for the really deep hollows of my cheeks. And for my eyes, I ended up using all four. These three were in the crease and then this one was concentrated towards the outer corner as you can see. These bronzers did go very well with this look, but it is a little bit more on the warmer reddish side. So just keep that in mind. If you're doing a more cool tone look, this probably wouldn't work for you, but um, yes, definitely for this look, it worked out perfectly. These did blend out really well and I love the colors. This palette has a little something for every skin tone almost, which is nice, but for the shadows that you don't use, you can use it as an actual eyeshadow instead of a bronzer. I especially liked this shade as an eyeshadow. It looked so pretty. It deepened up the look just perfectly. So I really like this. And finally, we have the Lavish Quick Color Switch Dry Brush Cleaner. And this retails for $17. It's just a sponge like this, kind of like a rough sponge as you can see. This is definitely not a replacement for washing your brushes. You have to wash your brushes so that you can keep them sanitary, but it is such a great way to change colors in between um, like a dark color to a light color. It's always difficult. Up until now, I would just use either a paper towel or an actual like little washcloth, or I would sanitize these little foams that you get from the BoxyCharm box and use that because it does pretty much the same thing, but make sure you sanitize it first. I always wondered how well it worked. I've seen this around for quite a while now, so I'm actually glad that I got this in this month's box because I got to test it out. And I have to say, it did a really good job of cleaning the brush. It doesn't make it spotless, um, you know, like brand new, but it is really, really helpful when switching colors back and forth. So I, I really like that. And especially um, the fact that you can wash this and reuse this, that's amazing because I remember seeing a long time ago a similar product, but you had to buy replaceable sponges each time. So I'm glad that you can actually wash this and reuse it. So that was pretty nifty. It's going to be living in my little drawer here. Alrighty, so those are all of the products in this month's box. I actually loved all of the products in this month's box. I was actually blown away. So I did the math and the overall total for this month's box is $149.95, which is like six times the amount of what you pay for the box, which is incredible to me. They always, always surprise me with that. I don't know how they do it. This month's box was absolutely perfect. So much better than my last two boxes. If you saw those videos, I was not very excited about those boxes, especially not as excited as I am about these items. These items were incredible and they totally knocked it out of the park. Alrighty guys, so that's it for this month's BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys got in your box this month. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.